first uh, this is how you unpack uh, the whole package you can see those holes for uh, how you pick it up this is the accessory box where you have the cables and other accessories for uh, for you to use this is the box where you have the base unit of the video conferencing now you uh, pick up the third third box this package consists of your uh, subwoofer and the power cable while removing the camera you have to be a little careful because it's a little uh, delicate while removing the cover just ensure that you do not uh, hold the camera you hold the rest of the body and slowly gently remove the sponge from the sides because the camera neck is very very brittle just be careful now let's take a look at uh, the ports on the back side that's the power supply from the subwoofer that's the LAN port that's the video out that's the audio out left and right that's the microphone port that's the VGA out for video when you are using a VGA now let's talk about the accessories this is the remote it comes with uh, batteries also in the same pack this is called the S video cable this is uh, one of the ways of connecting uh, for video out if the television has an S video port you can connect using this port this is your uh, LAN cable which should be available locally with the customer also and also shipped along with the material this is uh, the power uh, cord which connects the subwoofer this is the uh, microphone the set one microphone along with uh, the specialist cable audio cable this side one with the mount goes towards the base unit this connects to the base unit this the other end connects to the microphone you can connect the port the cable to either of the ports that are available basically you have the second port so that you can connect another mic to the same microphone now let's take the power cable and plug it in to the subwoofer this is the main power source it has to connect to the UPS only now the second cable that you see on the subwoofer this is the second cable this has to go into the video conferencing unit that is the first port on the video conference like you can see on one uh, on the top you have an additional uh, loop so you can tell which is the top which is uh, the way it has to be fixed fitted connect it slowly now you have the power source in place now let's connect 
the VGA cable from the video output unit which is your uh, television or your projector that's the VGA cable and connect it to the VGA port on the right now your video output is connected now let's connect the microphone as we know as we already said this end goes to the system and the other end which is a long cable goes into the microphone now as we told earlier you can connect this cable to either of the ports either of the ports on the microphone now this is the LAN cable you can this is a regular Ethernet cable that comes from the LAN switch you connect it and the other end goes to the LAN switch now let's turn on the system that is the power switch the black one and let's turn it on every time you turn on the system Polycom does a test check of the camera. You can also see a green color LED glowing at the bottom of the camera. This is an indication that the system is booting. This uh, is your front screen where you select the language. On the mouse remote you can see the arrow keys left, right, front and back and the center key is your enter so select English US and continue now select just continue to the next page using the center button is the enter button this is the enter so every time you have to select enter you have to press this button so go to the next page next select the country as India next system name will be basically uh, the site location address so here we will type it as Karnataka Bhavan it can be changed any time later on through the admin settings select or manually changing the IP address enter IP address manually next you can enter these addresses the default gateway later on the rest of the settings remains blank you have to enter the default gateway and submit must through the admin settings later on here we will select the connectivity as VGA which is what we have connected and the monitor one uh, either it can be a 4 by 3 or a 16 by 9 based on uh, whether it's a wide screen or a regular screen next next please don't change any settings next 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 deselect the register next now the system is configured and it will restart it takes about 18 seconds for the system to restart with the fresh configuration this will be the screen that you will get after the restart now this is the front page where you have to enter the IP address when you have to make a 
call video call you enter the IP address this is the polycom remote control where you can see the arrow keys in the front the call button the disconnect button then you have the zoom in zoom out on the left and the number keys are exactly the same as your mobile phone you can control the far camera on the far end and the near end from the home screen when you press the back button you will actually get the full screen image now if you press again the home button you will get the page where you can enter the IP address for dialing now using the up and down arrow keys you can get to the system press enter this will help you get to the admin settings click on the admin settings now here don't type any other password just click enter now here get to the land properties here you can set all the other uh, settings let's get to the land properties let's go to the land properties where we can set the IP address that is assigned to the video conferencing unit this is required for somebody from outside to access our video conferencing unit when you go to the next here you need to enter the default gateway which will be either the firewall or the router in the office and the subnet mask will be given by the IT ad admin at the customer site now get back once it's set previous previous screen now you are done gentlemen now the system alerts gives you the opportunity to see if there are any alerts uh, or errors in the system temporarily please note that time server will always be red the IP network as of now is red because we have not assigned any IP address but once you assign the proper IP address this should turn green gentlemen you are ready to go all the best